Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, we're talking Black Series, we're talking Obi-Wan Kenobi, we're talking customising action figures today. Um, this one is inspired by a lot of people out in the sort of Star Wars customising community. Uh, probably the main one with this project comes uh, Tud Russell on on Instagram. Check him out, he's done some absolutely incredible things with his figures and uh, just some of his methods I've taken on board and applied it to here to uh, Revenge of the Sith, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and also coming out of coming out with this one, a little slightly more accurate version of uh, General Kenobi from the 2003 Clone Wars. So we did get this figure here on the right last year and he came with this absolutely outstanding uh, Revenge of the Sith sort of era head sculpt. Um, despite the fact that the series, he was still sporting his very sort of Attack of the Clones mullet. Um, so despite that, it was a fantastic figure, brilliant release. Um, I think, I, personally, I would have preferred like a live action version of the 2008 and onwards uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, but with the fact that they have a clone trooper mold there and just a little bit of tweaking, it was an easy release for them. So. I don't begrudge him that. It was still a fantastic release. Um, but Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan Kenobi here on the on the left. Um, this one, fans have been screaming for an update for, for a while now, particularly since this head sculpt came out. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's one I've been sort of tinkering around with, wanting to do, and uh, I finally took the plunge and uh, gave it a little bit of a custom update. I am of the belief that Hasbro will put out a new Revenge of the Sith, Obi-Wan and Anakin at some point. Um, I know they just released Anakin last year back into the archive line. And uh, I hope they don't go down that route and instead give us brand new figures of these two because they are iconic to Revenge of the Sith. Um, and in my opinion, with the new new packaging, it'd be perfect to beginning figures to come out for Revenge of the Sith, um, just to really kick off that part of the series of Black Series as well. So what I did, I will sort of talk through this a little bit. Um, so basically, I did have to sacrifice an episode to Obi Wan Kenobi, which is fine. I've ordered another one. These are these are plentiful and uh, really cheap at the moment. So it was a worthy sacrifice. Thank you, Master Kenobi. Um, so I got the Revenge of the Sith figure as it was. I'm just going to move this one aside so I can bring this guy into focus a little bit more. So I took this Revenge of the Sith figure, which is, you know, still one of the earliest figures. This is 2013. Uh, well overdue for an update. Here is the previous head sculpt. <laughs> um, yeah, apples and oranges, as you can see. Um, and even this one is repainted because I had a crack at that myself and it was better than how it started. And if you have this old Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know, it really hasn't stood the test of time. So what I did is, you now I'll try and get him in some light and I'll zoom up here a little bit. Now basically I held it under some really boiling water. Um, I actually held it in a bowl of freshly boiled water. Once then the plastic was soft enough that I was able to just cut this neck joint off so it was left with like a reasonably flat surface and uh basically with some you know with a dremel real some couple of drill bits um i started boring it out to fit the neck that i popped out of the attack of the clones obi-wan kenobi um just to give it that realistic finish it would have been easy to put that head on that neck joint but again like the neck color just doesn't quite match the skin tone. So, and what Tud Russell has been doing is he's been doing this with a lot of figures. He's been hollowing out the neck and putting those new neck joints in, not necessarily so they're poseable, but they look a lot better. And uh, this is, you know, prime example here. You know, you could, could go quite into detail and get that joint moving in there as well, but for this exercise, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Um, so eventually, we're just really cleaning out the inside, like just going up in drill bits and making sure not to nick any edges off, like the robes, uh, the back of the collar, and all that sort of stuff. Um, just really clean out that hole. And uh, not too big, just so the neck's a snug fit. Um, and I sort of, I so once I got to that point, 
it was nice and clean. I applied some super glue to the neck and just slotted it in until I got down to a point where I think it looked pretty much mostly natural. Um, this is the, my first go. I didn't super glue it, but just trying it, it was, um, you know, his head was sticking up quite a, quite a bit, so I needed to drill down just a little bit further. So he, this is looking much better. I'm really, really happy with this actually. Um, my second little modification was on the elbow joints. Now we know these elbow joints are a little bit dated and crappy now. Um, so I did manage to sort of just sand and scrape a couple of little layers off the inner sleeve there just to get a little bit more angle. Um, and even then there's still a little bit of loose plastic there that I need to clean up a little bit better. There we go, that's easy. Um, so yeah, it's by no means perfect. Um, I know Hasbro will do a fantastic job when they go to upgrade this figure, but I did that with that elbow as well. This one actually gets a little bit better angle, so I may even take a little bit more off of this one. But yeah, and then I also switched the hands. So, you know, this Obi-Wan Kenobi's hands, just really flimsy, flimsy joints. Um, so now I can actually get this one holding holding a lightsaber with two hands. It's not perfect, again. Um, but yeah, I certainly played with the idea of doing leg swaps and painting the Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan um, up, but I decided to go with this method. And this is uh, basically what I've come up with, and the hand joints are now quite easily uh, peggable. I uh, did sort of drill them out, so I do have switch out hands uh, that I can put in there as well. But this will absolutely tide me over until um, Hasbro get to making one, making an official version. Um, so for now, I'm quite happy with this. I'm looking forward to trying to get some shots um, with Anakin. But yeah, in terms of other customization with this figure, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I toyed with the legs, so I, I completely stripped this figure down to its uh, its bare bones. So his skirt here is still still a little bit damp. Um, that'll look better when it's a bit dried out. So at the moment, it's just a bit of an off color, but it looks okay, it's fine. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to Hasbro putting one out, but this one is a big improvement in my opinion. Um, and just for my enjoyment as well, um, by no means telling everyone to go out and butcher your figures because, um, yeah, it's not always practical to get replacements and and stuff like that. So, you know, I just wanted to share my little thing. Again, check out Tud Russell on Instagram. I'll leave a, a link to his account down below. Um, yeah, go and find a little bit of inspiration in his work. He certainly uh, inspired me with what he does. Um, you know, especially with some of the most recent Luke Skywalker Black Series figures. Uh, he has done some absolutely fantastic work. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have yet to subscribe, please do. And uh, hit that little notification bell so you can be alerted when I put new, fig new, new figure reviews and all sorts of videos uh, up on my channel. That'd be fantastic. Greatly appreciated. Thank you everyone for your support. Thanks for tuning in. Until my next video, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.